Using the synths and effects found in the CM Studio, it's possible to come up with some complex sounding noises that you can't make with a single plugin. In this tutorial, we're going to use Zebra CM and Artillery 2 CM to make this glitchy lead line. <laughs> Start up by loading Zebra CM on a MIDI track in your door and copy the MIDI file we've used here. To get our big and beefy sounding Zebra CM patch, we're going to set both oscillators voice mode to quad, then set the detune level of oscillator 1 to minus 17.50 and the detune level of oscillator 2 to 32. Turn up the first envelope sustain level to give us a note that maintains the same volume level all the way through and turn the filter cutoff all the way up so that the filter doesn't affect the sound. Next add Artillery 2CM on the Zebra CM channel. Now you're also going to need to add a MIDI track for Artillery 2CM which needs to be routed to Artillery 2CM directly rather than just to the Zebra CM track because that way it'll actually be triggering the synth rather than the effect and you'll just get a load of weird notes over the top of your other synth line which is not ideal. In live doing it is as simple as this, um, if you're using a different bit of software and you're not sure how to do it just consult your documentation. For the Artillery CM MIDI track, copy the pattern we've used here, which is just a note at the start of each bar that stops before the start of the next bar. Now, it's it's important to stop it before the next one starts, or Ar Artillery 2CM won't really reset and restart the effect, so make sure you're leaving those little gaps. On the effects interface, drag along the strip above the virtual keyboard. Now, this sets up a key zone that we can assign an effect to. So click the effect slot where it says select effect and pick looper from the list of effects. Now this effect is a kind of beat repeat style effect that records the signal and plays it back as long as the MIDI note that's triggering Artillery 2CM is held. By modulating the looper's parameters we can get some really cool sounds. Select the direction parameter, then click the select modulator button and select LFO from the list of modulation sources. Set the wave shape to saw which gives us a rhythmic movement in a single direction, unlike a triangle or a sine shape which will just give us more of a wobble. Set the direction parameter to 50 and the direction modulation to 100. Now using a high modulation levels like this gives us an extreme pitch bending deck stop style effect that re-triggers with each of the MIDI notes at the start of each bar that we've sent to Artillery 2CM. <laughs> Now so far so good, but the really interesting stuff happens when we change the size parameter. Larger values don't make too much difference to the sound, but when you get into the 8th and 16th note ranges you get a really obvious touch effect, and with a small value smaller than that you get a really glitchy sound. So draw in some random size modulation as we have here. <laughs> Finally, select the crossfade parameter and automate that too. Now this controls how quickly the start and the end of the loop fade into each other. Smaller values make the sound rougher and larger values make it smoother and you'll get notes kind of blending into one another. The combination of side and crossfade length automation give us a sound that morphs and twists in an interesting fashion. <laughs> 